I thought that people weren't adequately, adequately addressing racial injustice in this country. And it's true. And it's true. And I thought that we were at risk as a country in terms of climate and that that expressed itself in terms of environmental injustice. And we've certainly seen that. And that's true. And that we live in a country that's deeply unjust economically, where rich people have been profiting at the expense of everybody else. And that's really true. And my family and I have been working on those things for decades. And I didn't get into this race and start talking about things to try and get votes. I was in this race to talk about things that I care the most about and that I continue to care the most about. And what I, let me just say this, I think the team that we have, more than half people of color, more than half women, 30% LGBTQ, I am so, that is the team that I wanna ride in to battle with. That is the crew, that's the crew I want on my side. So let me say this, I've never worked with a better group of people who've worked harder or in a more dedicated way. The endorsers from South Carolina are some of, I wanna say, some of the most outstanding human beings I've ever met, standing up for what's right. I, I am so proud to be with them. And the group of people in South Carolina, I'm looking at some of them right now, are a team of people who I am, I mean, people use these words, but I am humbled to be working side by side with those guys. I'm working, humbled to be working side by side by some of the women from South Carolina. And honestly, the people who have been, who've endorsed me have stood up in a very red state where I have seen things honestly that have broken my heart because as much as I've loved the people here and I've said, I'm not leaving. You may want me out of here. I'm not leaving. We're already figuring out ways, in fact, to make sure that we stay in South Carolina. And our, I have loved the people and I feel as if this, their fight is my fight and I wanna make sure that's true going forward. But there's no question today that this campaign, we were disappointed with where we came out. I think we got one or two delegates from congressional districts, which I thank South Carolina for and the people. But I said, if I didn't see a path to winning, that I'd suspend my campaign. And honestly, I can't see a path where I can win the presidency. So am I gonna continue to work on every single one of these issues? Yes, of course I am because I've never stopped. That's what I'm here for. And let me say, I kept trying to say this during the campaign, I'm a huge grassroots person. I'm a turnout, register engaged turnout person, young people, black people, Latinos, people who are overlooked, let's make sure their voices are heard, their votes are counted, and I promise I'm gonna do that because I've been doing that. And let me say this, I of course will be supporting, I've said from the beginning, every Democrat is a million times better than Trump. Trump is a disaster. And let me say this, I mean, we're in South Carolina. Lindsey Graham's a disaster. He's a disaster for the people here. So of course I'll be working on that. And let me say one last thing. When the Lord closes a door, he opens a window. I will find that window and crawl through it with you. I promise you that. I love you very much. This has been a great experience. I have zero regrets. Meeting you and the rest of the American people is the highlight of my life. We lo I love you right back. I love you right back. Thank you so much. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.